Okay, tonight's video is going to be talking about regroup and division, times when you need to regroup and division. Let's start out with thinking about subtraction, addition, and multiplication, three operations that you have a lot of success with. Um, regrouping, when it comes to addition, is, let, is when you have, like, let's say a problem like 52 plus 39, okay? You solve starting at the ones place, right? 2 plus 9. You know that 2 plus 9 equals 11. You can't place 11 down here in the ones place. So you have to um, take it to the next section. You kind of, it's what we call like regrouping, okay? We call it carrying, carry to the next um, place. Uh, carry to the next column. That's regrouping though. It's when you have to carry a tens over to the next um, place or carry a ones over to the next place, carry hundreds, whatever it might be, that's regrouping. Okay, so in addition, that's regrouping. In subtraction, regrouping is when you have to borrow. Okay, so let's say that we had 30 minus, okay, 30 minus 16. Okay, well, starting with the ones place, you can't do zero minus six, so you borrow from the three and the tens. That's regrouping. In order to um, do the zero minus six, we have to regroup. We had to take a ten from the three to place into the ones place, and that's regrouping. Solving that out, it gives me fourteen. Okay. Um, Multiplication. Regrouping is very similar to what we do with addition where we carry it to the next place over. Um, let's say that we're doing 45 times 3. Okay, 45 times 3. Well, 3 times 5 is 15. I can't place a two-digit number right there in the ones place, so I have to carry that one, in the, that one to the next column, and we call that regrouping, okay, and continue solving and I get 135. So with those operations that we have had a lot of success with and you've had a lot of success with, regrouping are those things that we um, just went through and you've had a lot of experience with that. So tonight we're going to focus on how regrouping looks in division. So taking that long division and regrouping and how it looks. Okay, I'm gonna still use some base 10 blocks to help model for those of you who need the help with the illustration. Um, so just bear with me as I model that to the side. You do not, okay, you do not have to draw these base 10 blocks, okay? It's only to help you understand the illustration for what is happening with our standard, our long division that we are doing, okay? We're going to solve 54 divided by 4 and find our quotient, okay? We know that that can also be written as 54 divided by 4 and find our quotient, okay? Now, we are going to use some key to, um, vocabulary words here, okay? Dividend, quotient, which we already know, and divisor, okay? 54, the total amount is the dividend, okay? So say with me at home, dividend. Say with me, dividend. Perfect. Now say it with a southern accent, dividend, or say it with a English accent, uh, dividend. I'm not terrible with my accents, but maybe you can do better than me. Okay, the other number we should know is our divisor. The number of groups that we're making is called our divisor. So say divisor like you um, speak uh, Spanish or French. Say divisor like a Frenchman, divisor. So we have our dividend the total amount, and our divisor, okay? And of course we know that, ladies and gents, our answer is our quotient. Quotient. Sounds French. Quotient. All right, here we go. So we are going to first figure out for 54, Four divided by four, we're going to take that five in the tens place there. So we have five. <clears throat> I'm gonna squeeze that over there. Okay. Ah, there we go. Okay. Five tens. I need to divide those five into four equal groups. Okay. 
So here we go. I'm going to move this out of the way for those of us who need the visual. Here we go. Four groups. One, two, three, and four. Okay? Just like those a little bit. There's our four groups. And I notice I have one extra here. Okay? This is when regrouping starts to happen. Okay? That one extra is going to be off to the side here. I'm going to place it down here at the bottom. It will come next in our problem, okay? But as we can see here, we were able to place one of our tens into each of our four groups. So let's get back to our long division work here. We placed one ten in each group. One times four is four. Subtract. One left over is one less than four. Yes, it is. Now, that one there is this one extra that was left over, okay? Now, we know that in 54 we have four ones in there as well. So I have one extra here plus the four ones that I still need to divide up into my four groups. But I cannot forget that I still have a whole 10 sitting here. This is where the regrouping happens, okay? I am going to make this one 10 become 10 individual ones, okay? Bear with me as I try to gather 10 ones here. I'm gonna have to pull my bag out here and try to gather 10 extra ones, okay? So here we go. I'm gonna replace that with 10 ones here. So I have four so far. Now six. Ugh. Eight. Oh, you cannot see that. Let me pull the camera down here. Here we go. Okay. And ten. All right. So here's my ten now that is going away because I have regrouped. I now have just ten ones to represent that one left over. Okay. Well, let me check. Well, let me check one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, and 10. Okay, so now if I have those 10 ones plus the 4 ones, I technically have how many ones? Yeah, that's right, 14. Okay, so I have 14 ones here that I can now um, place into my four equal groups. But before I do that, we need to get back to our long division work up here. Okay, pull this back down. So what did I just do? I took that one 10 that was left over and I made it into 10 little single ones. And then I combined it with my four to make 14 ones. Look at that, magical. I now have 14, just like I had the 14 ones that I just came up with. So now I'm gonna take these 14 ones and divide it into the four groups that I have and see how many I have uh, uh, um, uh, in each group. Sorry, could not find the words. Blah, blah, blah. All right, so can, here we go. I'm placing my 14 ones into my four groups, but what do you notice? Two left over. Two left over down here that I cannot place equally across the four groups. So that means that out of the 14 ones, I have three that are in each group with two left over. So let's get back to our long division up here to see how that works. I have three in each group. I'm going to multiply three times four is 12. Subtract. 14 minus 12 is two for the two that I had left over. So remainder two. 13 remainder two is my quotient. Okay, lovely, brilliant. Okay, so that's how regrouping works in division. So now I'm gonna have you um, kind of get started here. I'm gonna get you started with how to do another problem and then you'll finish it on your own and give me the final quotient on your uh, math videos log, okay? All right, here we go. I'm trying to get my base 10 blocks out of the way. All right, here is our next problem. Let's do, um, let's do 74 divided by 5 and find our quotient, okay? 
All right, we know setting that up, 74 divided by 5 and find our quotient up top there, okay? All right, for those of you who need the visual, you could draw your base time blocks on here if you wanted to, okay? You could draw seven of your tens and then have four ones, okay? All right, oh, I'm missing one, aren't I? There, does that, does that look like seven now? Yeah, yeah, that looks like seven, good, okay. So, first figure out how you're going to place your seven ones into your five groups that we have in our division problem, our five groups, okay? Right here in our divisor, okay? Okay, so put your ones to the side and separate those out. So one, two, three, four, and five. With two little ones here left over. Hmm, okay? So, getting this started here, there was only one in each group. One times five is five. Subtract, seven minus five is two. And there's the two that we had left over, right? Yes. Is two less than five? Yes, it is. Good. Now I'm going to be doing that regrouping because I have two tens left over. I'm going to turn it into 20 ones and then add it to the four ones that I had to the, um, in my number 54, 74, okay? So that means I'm going to be placing 20 of those here. There's 10 and I could scrounge up 20 more if I could. My goodness, one, two, three, four, <laughs> four, eh, there's five. All I need is five more. Can I find five more? Oh, I found one more to make six. Sweet. Can I find, uh, how many more do I need? Oh, oh yeah, that's right, four. Okay, seven, seven. Oh no, I found two more. Oh, nine. Can I find one more? Can I find one more? Oh my goodness. Please. Oh, I'm in luck. Sweet. There's 24 and I had to divide it into my five groups. Okay, so thinking about that, all right, let's get back to our work here to see how that works out. I created 20. I combined it with my four, so now I have 24. How many will I have in each group of my, or will I have into each group, okay? So I can place those out there and keep going and putting them in my five groups and then keep going and going and going, okay? Until I run out, until I cannot equally place them into my groups. And I keep going. Oh, I notice that my number down at the bottom is dwindling. And look, I have four left. I can't place them, okay? So I look and I see across that I have four equally in my five groups. So that means down here in my long work, in my long division, I have four that I placed. Four times five is 20. Subtract, 24 minus 20 is four. And there's the four little ones that I had left over right there at the bottom, okay? So that's a what you finish and write this on your math problems. I'll see you tomorrow.